Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to clear something up because I still hear this misconception a lot, and I understand why people say it, but it's incorrect, so let's stop saying this, everybody. I hear a lot that people all start off being female in utero, and then if you're going to be uh, having male genitalia, then you're going to add that on later. That is absolutely not true. It's not true. It is an oversimplification of a very complicated process. If you want to know more about the nitty gritty details of why this is not true, you can go watch my video on the indifferent stage of embryonic development. Um, today, I'm going to keep it pretty simple and just address this one point. So I hear that we all start off as female. This is not true. Uh, but the female phenotype is often referred to as the default, but it's referred to the default uh, for a completely different reason. Uh, it is not the case that we all form female anatomy. You don't form a vagina. You don't form ovaries. You don't form labia. You don't form a uterus and then later develop a uh, a penis, a prostate, all that, and then get rid of your female genitalia that you already developed. That's not at all how this works. So I'm going to go into this just really quickly. If you want details, go watch that other video. This is just bare bones information. So we all start off with indifferent gonads and indifferent genitalia. So if you go watch the other video, you'll know about the urogenital sinus. You'll know about the... Um, parent mesonephric duct and the mesonephric duct. You're going to learn about all those structures, but your gonads, so your testes or your ovaries, they start off being neither. It is neither a testis nor an ovary. So it's an indifferent gonad. And so when we start the process to differentiate, we have one thing that kind of kicks this whole process off, and that is SRY. So you either have SRY or you don't have SRY. If you have SRY, you're going to go down the testis pathway, okay? So SRY gives you testes, and then no SRY is going to give you an ovary. And we also have WNT4, but that's not a super important detail because everyone has WNT4. But this is why people say that female is the default, because in order to enter the testis pathway, you have to have the presence of SRY. And so if you don't have SRY, then you're going to get spontaneous formation of an ovary. So without this signal, you get an ovary. And that's why this is considered default. But there's a couple of other things that kick off uh, this differentiation, which also contributes to the misinformation about this. So we have our testis, and then our testis is going to produce testosterone and DHT, giving us internal uh, male genitalia and external male genitalia. The testis acts on the mesonephric duct to stimulate the maintenance of this duct, giving you internal male genitalia. So there you go, SRY kicks off the process to have both internal male and external male genitalia. And then likewise, if you don't have SRY, so the absence of SRY, you get external female genitalia, and then uh, the paramesonephric duct gives you internal female genitalia. And then another reason why people say that female is the default is because the testis is responsible once again for producing testosterone. And testosterone is the next step in kicking off the next phase of the pathway. So. The testis produces testosterone, which stimulates the mesonephric duct to stay. You get internal male genitalia, and then testosterone also, well, testosterone specifically, not specifically, uh, but MIF produced by the testis as well is going to inhibit the paramesonephric duct from developing. So it's going to stop the internal female genital tract from developing. So this is why we say that it's a default, because without these signals over here from the testis, you would go down this ovarian pathway, but you do not get the ovarian pathway and then switch to the testicular pathway unless you have a difference in sexual development. But no, we do not start off as female. 
We are not all female. We are indifferent. And then we enter one of these two pathways or something happens along the way to where we enter both pathways or neither pathway. But we do not all go down the female pathway. So I hope this cleared it up. Uh, if you want more details, once again, go watch the indifferent stage video that is longer, more in depth on this process. And I will see you all in the next one.